Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi Persian, Muhammad Khwarizmi c. 780 c. 850, Arabized as al-Khwarizmi with al and formerly Latinized as algorithmi, was a Persian polymath who produced works in mathematics, astronomy, and geography. Around 820 CE he was appointed as the astronomer and head of the Library of the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. Al-Khwarizmi's popularizing treatise on algebra, the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, c. 813-833 CE, presented the first systematic solution of linear and quadratic equations. One of his principal achievements in algebra was his demonstration of how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square, for which he provided geometric justifications. Because he was the first to treat algebra as an independent discipline and introduced the methods of reduction and balancing the transposition of subtracted terms to the other side of an equation, that is, the cancellation of like terms on opposite sides of the equation, he has been described as the father or founder of algebra. The term algebra itself comes from the title of his book, specifically the word al-jab meaning completion or rejoining. His name gave rise to the terms algorithm and algorithm. His name is also the origin of Spanish guarismo and of Portuguese algorismo, both meaning digit. In the 12th century, Latin translations of his textbook on arithmetic, Algorithmo de Numero Indorum, which codified the various Indian numerals, introduced the decimal positional number system to the Western world. The compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, translated into Latin by Robert of Chester in 1145, was used until the 16th century as the principal mathematical textbook of European universities. In addition to his best-known works, he revised Ptolemy geography, listing the longitudes and latitudes of various cities and localities. He further produced a set of astronomical tables and wrote about calendaric works, as well as the astrolabe and the sundial. He also made important contributions to trigonometry, producing accurate sine and cosine tables, and the first table of tangents. Life Few details of al khwarizmis life are known with certainty. He was born into a Persian family and Ibn al-Nadim gives his birthplace as Khwarezm in Greater Khorasan, modern Kiva, Zorazma region, Uzbekistan. Muhammad ibn Jarir al-Tabari gives his name as Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarezmi al-Majasi al-Qutrubali. The epithet al-Qutrubali could indicate he might instead have come from Qutrubal, Katrabal, a viticulture district near Baghdad. However, Rasht suggests, there is no need to be an expert on the period or a philologist to see that al-Tabari's second citation should read, Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi and al-Majasi al-Qutrubali, and that there are two people, al-Khwarizmi and al-Majasi al-Qutrubali, between whom the letter wa, for the conjunction, and, has been omitted in an early copy. This would not be worth mentioning if a series of errors concerning the personality of al-Khwarizmi, occasionally even the origins of his knowledge, had not been made. Recently, G. J. Toomer, with naive confidence constructed an entire fantasy on the error which cannot be denied the merit of amusing the reader. Regarding al-Khwarizmi's religion, Toomer writes, another epithet given to him by al-Tabari, al-Majasi, would seem to indicate that he was an adherent of the old Zoroastrian religion. This would still have been possible at that time for a man of Iranian origin, but the pious preface to al-Khwarizmi's algebra shows that he was an orthodox Muslim, so al-Tabari's epithet could mean no more than that his forebears, and perhaps he in his youth, had been Zoroastrians. Ibn al-Nadim's Kitab al-Firist includes a short biography on al-Khwarizmi together with a list of the books he wrote. Al-Khwarizmi accomplished most of his work in the period between 813 and 833. After the Muslim conquest of Persia, Baghdad became the center of scientific studies and trade, and many merchants and scientists from as far as China and India traveled to this city, as did Al-Khwarizmi. He worked in Baghdad as a scholar at the House of Wisdom established by Caliph al-Mamun, where he studied the sciences and mathematics, which included the translation of Greek and Sanskrit scientific manuscripts. Douglas Morton Dunlop suggests that it may have been possible that Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi was in fact the same person as Muhammad ibn Musa ibn Shakir, the eldest of the three Banu Musa. 
Contributions, al khwarizmis contributions to mathematics, geography, astronomy, and cartography established the basis for innovation in algebra and trigonometry. His systematic approach to solving linear and quadratic equations led to algebra, a word derived from the title of his book on the subject, the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing. On the calculation with Hindu numerals written about 820, was principally responsible for spreading the Hindu-Arabic numeral system throughout the Middle East and Europe. It was translated into Latin as algorithmi de numero indorum. al khwarizmi rendered as Latin algorithmi, led to the term algorithm. Some of his work was based on Persian and Babylonian astronomy, Indian numbers, and Greek mathematics. al khwarizmi systematized and corrected Ptolemy data for Africa and the Middle East. Another major book was Kitab Surat al-Ard, The Image of the Earth, translated as Geography, presenting the coordinates of places based on those in the geography of Ptolemy but with improved values for the Mediterranean Sea, Asia, and Africa. He also wrote on mechanical devices like the astrolabe and sundial. He assisted a project to determine the circumference of the Earth and in making a world map for al-Mamun, the Caliph, overseeing 70 geographers. When, in the 12th century, his work spread to Europe through Latin translations, it had a profound impact on the advance of mathematics in Europe. Algebra, the compendious book on calculation by completion al-Khattab al-Muqtasar fi Hasab al-Jab wal muqabala is a mathematical book written approximately 820 CE. The book was written with the encouragement of Caliph al mamun as a popular work on calculation and is replete with examples and applications to a wide range of problems in trade, surveying and legal inheritance. The term algebra is derived from the name of one of the basic operations with equations al -jab, meaning restoration, referring to adding a number to both sides of the equation to consolidate or cancel terms described in this book. The book was translated in Latin as Liber Algebrae et Almucabala by Robert of Chester, Segovia, 1145, hence Algebra, and also by Gerard of Cremona. A unique Arabic copy is kept at Oxford and was translated in 1831 by F. Rosen. A Latin translation is kept in Cambridge. It provided an exhaustive account of solving polynomial equations up to the second degree, and discussed the fundamental methods of reduction and balancing, referring to the transposition of terms to the other side of an equation, that is, the cancellation of like terms on opposite sides of the equation. al khwarizmis method of solving linear and quadratic equations worked by first reducing the equation to one of six standard forms where b and c are positive integers and c are positive integers, too. Squares equal number, x2 equals c3. Roots equal number, bx equals c4. Squares and roots equal number, x2 plus bx equals c. Squares and number equal roots, x2 plus c equals bx. Roots and number equal squares, bx plus c equals x2. By dividing out the coefficient of the square and using the two operations al-jab, restoring, or completion, and al-mukabala, balancing. Al-jab is the process of removing negative units, roots and squares from the equation by adding the same quantity to each side. al muqabala is the process of bringing quantities of the same type to the same side of the equation. The above discussion uses modern mathematical notation for the types of problems that the book discusses. However, in al khwarizmis day, most of this notation had not yet been invented, so he had to use ordinary text to present problems and their solutions. Arithmetic, al khwarizmis second most influential work was on the subject of arithmetic, which survived in Latin translations but lost in the original Arabic. His writings include the text Kitab al-Hasab al-Hindi, Book of Indian Computation, and perhaps a more elementary text, Kitab al-Jam, Wal Tafriq al-Hasab al-Hindi, Addition and Subtraction in Indian Arithmetic. These texts described algorithms on decimal numbers Hindu-Arabic numerals that could be carried out on a dust board. Called talked in Arabic, Latin, tabula, a board covered with a thin layer of dust or sand was employed for calculations, on which figures could be written with a stylus and easily erased and replaced when necessary. al khwarizmis algorithms were used for almost three centuries, until replaced by al euclidesis algorithms that could be carried out with pen and paper. 
As part of 12th century wave of Arabic science flowing into Europe via translations, these texts proved to be revolutionary in Europe. al khwarizmis Latinized name, Algorismus, turned into the name of method used for computations, and survives in the modern term, algorithm. It gradually replaced the previous abacus-based methods used in Europe. Four Latin texts providing adaptions of al khwarizmis methods have survived, even though none of them is believed to be a literal translation. 1. Dixit Algorithmi published in 1857 under the title Algorithmi de Numero Indorum II. Liber Alchorismi de Practica Arismetis III. Liber Isagogorum Alchorismi IV. Liber Pulveris Dixit Algorismi thus spake al is the starting phrase of a manuscript in the University of Cambridge Library, which is generally referred to by its 1857 title Algorithmi de Numero Indorum. It is attributed to the Adelard of Bath, who had also translated the astronomical tables in 1126. It is perhaps the closest to al own writings. al khwarizmis work on arithmetic was responsible for introducing the Arabic numerals, based on the Hindu-Arabic numeral system developed in Indian mathematics, to the Western world. The term algorithm is derived from the algorithm, the technique of performing arithmetic with Hindu-Arabic numerals developed by al khwarizmi both algorithm and algorithm are derived from the Latinized forms of al khwarizmis name, algorithmi and algorithmi, respectively. Astronomy, al khwarizmis zij al-Sindind, Astronomical Tables of Siddhanta, is a work consisting of approximately 37 chapters on calendrical and astronomical calculations and 116 tables with calendrical, astronomical and astrological data, as well as a table of sign values. This is the first of many Arabic zihes based on the Indian astronomical methods known as the Sindind. The work contains tables for the movements of the Sun, the Moon and the five planets known at the time. This work marked the turning point in Islamic astronomy. Hitherto, Muslim astronomers had adopted a primary research approach to the field, translating works of others, and learning already discovered knowledge. The original Arabic version, written c. 820, is lost, but a version by the Spanish astronomer Maslama ibn Ahmad al-Majriti c. 1000 has survived in a Latin translation, presumably by Adelard of Bath, January 26, 1126. The four surviving manuscripts of the Latin translation are kept at the Bibliothèque Publique, Chartres, the Bibliothèque Mazarine, Paris, the Bibliotheca Nacionale, Madrid, and the Bodleian Library, Oxford. Trigonometry, al khwarizmis zij al-Sindind also contained tables for the trigonometric functions of sines and cosine. A related treatise on spherical trigonometry is also attributed to him. al khwarizmi produced accurate sine and cosine tables, and the first table of tangents. Geography, al khwarizmis third major work is his Kitab Surat al-Ard, Book of the Description of the Earth, also known as his Geography, which was finished in 833. It is a major reworking of Ptolemy's 2nd century geography, consisting of a list of 2,402 coordinates of cities and other geographical features following a general introduction. There is only one surviving copy of Kitab Surat al-Ard, which is kept at the Strasbourg University Library. A Latin translation is kept at the Biblioteca Nacional de España in Madrid. Citation needed, the book opens with the list of latitudes and longitudes, in order of weather zones, that is to say in blocks of latitudes and, in each weather zone, by order of longitude. As Paul Gales, dubious, discuss points out, this excellent system allows the deduction of many latitudes and longitudes where the only extant document is in such a bad condition as to make it practically illegible. Neither the Arabic copy nor the Latin translation includes the map of the world itself, however, Hubert Donacht was able to reconstruct the missing map from the list of coordinates. Donacht read the latitudes and longitudes of the coastal points in the manuscript, or deduces them from the context where they were not legible. He transferred the points onto graph paper and connected them with straight lines, obtaining an approximation of the coastline as it was on the original map. He then does the same for the rivers and towns. 
Al Khwarizmi corrected Ptolemy gross overestimate for the length of the Mediterranean Sea from the Canary Islands to the eastern shores of the Mediterranean. Ptolemy overestimated it at 63 degrees of longitude, while Al Khwarizmi almost correctly estimated it at nearly 50 degrees of longitude. He also depicted the Atlantic and Indian Oceans as open bodies of water, not landlocked seas as Ptolemy had done. Al Khwarizmi's prime meridian at the Fortunate Isles was thus around 10 degrees east of the line used by Marinus and Ptolemy. Most medieval Muslim gazetteers continued to use Al Khwarizmi's prime meridian. Jewish calendar, Al Khwarizmi wrote several other works including a treatise on the Hebrew calendar, titled Rizala fi Istikraj Tariq al-Yahud, Extraction of the Jewish Era. It describes the Metonic cycle, a 19-year intercalation cycle, the rules for determining on what day of the week the first day of the month Tishrei shall fall, calculates the interval between the Anno Mundi or Jewish year and the Seleucid era, and gives rules for determining the mean longitude of the sun and the moon using the Hebrew calendar. Similar material is found in the works of Abu Rehan al-Biruni and Maimonides. Other works, Ibn al-Nadim's Kitab al-Firist, an index of Arabic books, mentions al-Khwarizmi's Kitab al-Tariq, a book of annals. No direct manuscript survives, however, a copy had reached Nusaybin by the 11th century, where its metropolitan bishop, Mar Elias Bar Shania, found it. Elias's chronicle quotes it from the death of the prophet through to 169 AH, at which point Elias's text itself hits a lacuna. Several Arabic manuscripts in Berlin, Istanbul, Tashkent, Cairo and Paris contain further material that surely or with some probability comes from al khwarizmi The Istanbul manuscript contains a paper on sundials, the Firist credits al khwarizmi with Kitab ar-Rukama. Other papers, such as one on the determination of the direction of Mecca, are on the spherical astronomy. Two texts deserve special interest on the morning width Marifat Sa al Mashriq fi kul Balad and the determination of the azimuth from a height Marifat al Samt min Kibble al Artifa. He also wrote two books on using and constructing astrolabes.